going on, pen peeps, pen gangster here. And I've got a new pen to show you today. And it just so happens to be the little sister of this gorgeousness. This is the Diplomat Arrow in Flame. And I've done a review previously on this pen, but the pen that I have today, sent to me courtesy of Pen Chalet, it's the Diplomat Traveler also in flame. It's a really cool pen. I've already peeked at it. I mean, how could I not? It's just sitting there on my desk. So yeah, I peeked at it. But look what it comes in. Look at this cool metal case. It's really cool. It can like double as like a pencil box or something like that. And you open it up if what's inside is removable. It comes with a little book of literature. And there's the pen. So as you can tell, it's a bit different from the arrow as far as shape and clip and everything. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh my gosh. Oh, so this is what I'm talking about. This does come out. So this would make a really excellent, you know, so you don't have to like store it. I hate having to store my uh, boxes and put it somewhere else, but so, the lining does come out and you could keep like pencils and erasers in here, which I think, you know, is kind of a cool, a clever idea. You're welcome. Oh, let's look at the pen. Stop messing with this. Okay, so the Traveler, it's a different pen from the Arrow. Yes, it has the flame or the flamage, flamage uh, <laughs> going on here. So the flame, I mean, really beautiful. So it's a bit different, right? So let's put it next to its bigger sibling, the arrow. And it has the same flame-like pattern, same types of coloring, although this orange, in my opinion, is not as vibrant as the one on the arrow. It's a little more subdued, but the oranges, the purples, the blues, it's all there. And it still is quite a beautiful pen. So yeah, it's a smaller pen. It's not quite as wide or thick as the Arrow. It has, it's a slimmer design, but this makes a better purse pen, or here's another French word for you, attache pen. No, I don't speak French. I know it's amazing that I do that. <laughs> you notice the clip is a bit different on here. It's actually a nice, beautiful stylized clip. I think it looks really cool. I, I like that. And another thing, another huge difference between the Diplomat Arrow and the Traveler is that this pen is a lot more easier on your bank account. This pen runs, give or take about 50 bucks, $50. And this is, it is on Pen Chalet right now. And they sent me a medium nib pen, which I appreciate. And so what's great about the Diplomat pens whether you've used one or not, the great thing about Diplomat pens is that they're still nibs are like some of the best still nibs out there. They write really, really smooth. I, and it's amazing. And so they do have a great reputation for that. Now the feed is a bit different on this one. It is a smaller nib than what comes with the Arrow. This nib is a small little number five nib as compared to the Diplomat's number six. So yeah, there's a nib difference. This one is much smaller. The pen is much lighter too. This is also in stainless steel. But this pen is much lighter. Doesn't take up a whole lot of space. And the section is plastic. It's not that brushed metal, uh, which is on the arrow. So it's a little bit different, but again, this is at a different price point. This is a more affordable pen if you're not ready to take that plunge over $200 for the stainless steel arrow flame. And that's fine. So I'm just personally, I'm happy that Diplomat offers an alternative to that with that gorgeous flame patterning or that texture flame, is it a texture or pattern? Unfortunately though, the Diplomat Traveler does not come with a converter. It comes with a cartridge and that's cool. And they, I don't know why they did this, but they put like a, uh, an empty cartridge in here. 
So you couldn't even fill it with a syringe because there's like nothing at the end here. So just go right out. If you don't have a converter for this pen, you could get started right away with this. But the good news about this pen, if you do happen to have an international converter, such as something like this, it fits. So you can put any type of ink in it that you want. Now, does the converter fit within the barrel? Yes, it does. So yes, it does accept an international standard converter, which is good news because I personally like to be able to choose the ink that I put in my pens. All the, you know, all the cartridges that pens usually come with, it's either blue or black ink, which I, I'm going to be putting blue ink in this pen just because I think it looks nice with the flame. But this isn't just your everyday average blue. It's more of a purple blue, which I thought would look nice with the flamage or the flamage. If you look in the barrel, it is metal and it is metal threaded. And so you have the plastic piece here. The one thing that, I mean, I don't think it's a bad idea that this is plastic. I just, in my opinion, I get worried that the threading on here, it, you know, could suffer from that possibility of, you know, get developing a crack over time. And I would hate for that to happen because it makes me wonder, does Diplomat offer, you know, a replacement? But there is an international warranty. Uh, in fact, it's an international Diplomat guarantee. So I imagine if anything were to happen like that, um, you know, to your section that they would uh, be nice enough to replace it. The one thing that uh, this pen um, that bothers me is that it's not the easiest, not, maybe it's just this pen, but it's not the easiest to uncap. But I do like the way this pen looks. It has <clears throat> both ends of the pen are in silver and this end, it has the Diplomat logo with a clear sort of plastic overlay on it, which I think is very classy. Is this clip springy? I mean, you can work with that. That's It's a little stiff, but it does move so you can put it in your pocket or put it in your pen case or wherever you keep your pens. Um, I like the silver band that goes around the bottom of the cap to match all the other silver counterparts to this pen. Now there's a pen post. <laughs> I have to work out for that. Um, it seems like it would want to post, but this doesn't post. I just wanted to take a moment to say that I've been playing with this pen for about a day now and I did discover that it does post. So disregard what I'm saying in this video or the clip before this. So the thing is, is that what I didn't do was you actually have to push a little harder um, and it posts that way. So there you go. Now you know. <laughs> All right. All right, carry on, carry on. Overall though, I think it's a really classy pen. It does come in other colors as well, so not just the flame. It's affordable. I think it, it's actually, you know, a great next level type of pen. So if you started from like a, a Platinum Preppy and you want something just a little more classier, a little more oomph, this could be your pen. Pen Chalet also sent me something different and new that I've never used before and it is from a new designer or a new company that produces leather goods for pens called D. Charles. And what they sent to me was this pen wipe wallet. It's very compact, can fit into your bag, so that way, you know, if you ink your pen on the go, or just to have it at your desk to ink your pens. And so basically you open it up and there is like a, it's like a soft suede, chamois sewn in there and there are four different or four different pieces it's sewn here right in the center oh it's really soft wow dang i need i need like like a jacket made out of that or something so i can cuddle with it my goodness anyway don't, don't judge me so there's like eight different sides here that you could wipe your pen on. So basically after you're done inking your pen, you would lay this flat and 
you know, wipe your nib on it instead of using like a paper towel or something like that. And the great thing is that this will be very nice and gentle on your nib and it won't scratch it up. When I do with the paper towel, I kind of blot and just gently wipe off the surface because I don't want to mess my pen up. So there's that. So I will be using this during the inking process instead of using a paper towel. All right, well, I guess the next step is to ink this gorgeousness up and see how that nib writes. For joining me for this look at the Diplomat Traveler, your more inexpensive alternative to the Diplomat, your more inexpensive option to the Diplomat Aeroflame. I think it's classy. I think this would make a nice gift for somebody, especially someone who is newly into fountain pens or as an upgrade from that beginner pen to the next level because it is next level gorgeousness. That's all I've got. Go check it out at Pen Chalet. And that's how the ink flows. <laughs>